A new event on the calendar this year, the Long Jump, will reach us at the halfway point of Marvel Sports Game Season 4, here in the Ring of Fire. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor, and Ball of Fire, setting up a new event this year, the Long Jump. All you have to do is to send down the track and clear the bar there. So we're going to have just one by one, so you're going to see our competitors popping up here on the right, that this is the order they will run in, clear the bar without hitting it, and you move on to the next round. A lot of captains in this one, looks like. And we're just gonna go jumping right into this one. <laughs> and to start us off, our host, the Balls of Fire, will clear the bar. And you'll know each round, the bar moves forward by one block. Valiant Vanellas, clear across. The blue also will break it. So, with the bar moving once each block, this is just gonna get more difficult each and every round. As you can see, this one not that bad. So far, we are now... Ooh, that was a close one from the flamethrowers, but we're 5 for 5 on clearing the bar. The Aquatic make it 6 for 6. Comes Starry now from Team Galactic. That's a clear one. 7 for 7. It's like 8 for 8 now. So we are just rolling right along here. 9 for 9 as the Bronze Tiger's Tigger bounces over that one. Moonlight Titans, they're clear. And hold on a second, are the Blu-ray buttons? Where is Bombberry? They're, they're not gonna make it up the ramp! Bombberry is rolling around, they did not, oh boy! Well there is our first eliminated runner, Bombberry, will not even make it up the ramp. So now, 11 for 12 with Bombberry being the only one to not make it so far. Time Warpers, by the skin of their teeth, move on. So the Golden Lynxes, they're across, and the Stingers, our final runners. Ooh, they hit the bar! They do, and they're not going to move on! So the Stingers and Blueberry Buttons will be the only ones knocked out in round one. Stingers will get higher places if they made it closer. Blueberry Buttons didn't even make it on the track. <laughs> round two now, you can see the bars moved on to the white good. And the balls of fire are clear. Here come the defending champions, the Valiant Vanillas, and Frost will clear that one pretty handily. Followed by True Blue, and that's a bit closer, but they will get by. Greenie from the Greenies again. Getting a lot closer this round. And there, the flamethrowers stumble. They're going to hit the top. They are not going to move on. The Aquatics will, however, albeit barely. Sorry from Team Galactic. That's no good. Team Galactic also knocked out here. And, ooh, Chili Cat's Eyes. Cy and I, their captain, moving on. Oh, Tigger flew past that one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and that one's not even close. They're not even going to make it on the Moonlight Titans. The Rainbow's also not going to make it. It'll be, I think they were a bit closer to the bar than the Moonlight Titans. <laughs> Another one failed! Three in a row! Four in a row! The Time Whippers don't make it! Oh my! And then the Golden Lynx is clear through. So these are the six that got knocked out this round. So Flamethrowers were the closest to the bar. So them, Galactic, Blue Moons, Rainbows, Moonlight Titans, and Time Whippers go no further. Hey, look at this! The Great Ball of Fire, King of the Balls of Fire of the Nation, is going to test this track out. <laughs> Good for them. And we got our top half now. Eight, rema eight remaining as we head to round three and Balls of Fire. Unfortunately, there are our host's run comes to an end. But Frost and the Valiant Manellas will be moving on. So we're going to have at least another round. Oh, True Blue hit that one. They are not going to be moving on. Ooh, close one, but the Greenies have it. And the Aquatic, now that one wasn't going anywhere. Nowhere close to the bar. Eh, Cyanide flies right over that, though. They'll move on. Ooh, Tigger flops right on top of it and bounces backwards out of it. They're knocked out. 
And the Golden Lynx's Lion will be moving on. So we have our top four now. As our host, the Aquatics, Bronze Tigers, and True Blue will go no further. Four marbles remain, and Frost is going to kick us off here in round four. And they're going to clear it by a mile. Greeny on the... Oh, Greeny! Oh, flops right onto the wall at the entrance there. They're not going anywhere. But Cyanide is moving on to round five with our defending champions. And the Golden Lynx has hit that beam, and they are knocked out. They will take the bronze medal, however, right above the Greenies. Meaning it's down to our final two. Frost and Cyanide. Here we go. Can Frost clear it? No! Not even close! It's up to Cyanide. And right over the bar, the Chili Cat's Eyes have won gold, the second of the season. They are the first repeat gold medal winner of this tournament so far. And Cyanide, the captain, gets it done. Perfect through all five rounds. Frost from the Valiant Vanellas picks up another medal. Unreal right now from Frost with the Valiant Vanellas. That's three in a row. And a lion from the Golden Lynxes gets their first Marvel Sports Games medal for the team ever. And in the overall standings, the Greenies and Valiant Vanellas are still duking it out at the top. 106 to 102, it's down to just four points. And the Chili Cat's eyes are creeping up on Team Galactic. Aquatics, Moonlight Titans, Flamethrowers, and Blue Moons rounding up the top half. And at the bottom, the Blue Ray Buttons are giving the time warp with a run for their money in the basement. Not good for our Season 2 champion. What will happen next? We'll have to see at the Heat Wave, another new event featured this year. And we're halfway there, everybody. Thanks for watching.